Hi again everybody, this is Deland, and as you can see here, I have reverse view up right now because I'm finally doing the video. Y'all waited years and years and years for it. This is how I play Matthew Wilder's Break My Stride on this tenor ukulele made by mainland ukuleles out of Indiana. So I'll do my best not to embarrass either him or Mr. Wilder or myself because watching the video again and remembering how exactly I did it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how I play Break My Stride more or less the way I do it now because I found some newer ways to do it but I mostly stick to the way that I've done it in the video and yes there's a link to the original video you can see it there where I filmed it on the campus of Southern Oregon University now you know where I did it so anyway <clears throat> let's start with the E minor riff and yes this video is gonna be a bit long so if you want to commit to it saddle in lock and load we're, we're, we're deep diving okay so here we go. The E minor riff. You just base it's actually an E flat minor. I want to be correct. I want to correct myself here. So to play that E minor riff, and I'm not going to bar it like I normally like I normally bar chords here. I need to not um well, it's not cheating, no matter how you do it, but <laughs> I'm going to not bar it. Just gonna because you want to have this the pinky finger wiggle. So your fingering right here is going to be three, three, two, one. All right. And I'll show you what I'm doing in the right hand. I'm just thumb on the C string and then plucking the bottom two. So if I step back a little, put those two together, you can see what I'm doing here. So I'm just going to see what I'm see both hands in action, and maybe a little bit of my neck. Okay, so here it is. It's thumb, and then I raise my pinky, or whatever finger I have the C string on. slow. Here we go. So, one, two, three, four. That's the E minor riff. And that's really fun to play. So I'm just picking up right here if you can do the upside down. Here we go. That's helpful. On that E flat minor riff. There you go. Or as long as you get that in there, you're good. Last night I had the strangest dream. That's B flat major. Three, two, one one. I can bar like that, or here it is upside down. There we go. <clears throat> to D minor. Two two three zero. I'm sorry. Two two one zero. Forgive me. I sailed away to China. C major. On a little rubber to find ya. 
You said you had to get your laundry clean back to B flat. Down to D minor. Didn't want no one to hold you. And here's that C major riff. What does that mean? So that's it. That's the opening bit. So what I'm playing here. So let's re, uh, let me let me go back and recap the chords there. So it's E flat minor. Last night I had this B flat major, strangest dream. D minor. I sailed away to China. C. On a little rope boat to find ya. E flat minor. You said you had to get your B flat major laundry clean. D minor. Didn't want no one to hold you to see, and it's, and I'm plucking here both the C string and the E string. <laughs> the A string up here. Now I'm just fingering up the C up there. The third and first strings. Put one finger on the second fret, C string, and then move up two frets, which is fourth fret, second string, or C string. What does that mean? What does that mean? <clears throat> well, let's put that. So, <clears throat> first verse, second verse. Are the same, so you'll just so I'm gonna not, I'm not gonna repeat myself, but I am gonna show you one more time how we get through this. So let's go back here, E minor riff. Oop, both hands, shall we? I usually put that finger back on. You can slide it up or break my stride. Either way is cool. So it's F. F looks like that. Two, zero, one, zero. To B flat, to C. And I can play, I'm sorry, we can play it C up here. Which is five, four, three, three. Either way is cool. Alright. Oh. Ain't no nothing more than my stride. D minor. Nobody's gonna. S s nobody's gonna slow me down. Oh no. B flat. I got to keep on moving. Ain't nothing gonna. Break my stride. I'm running and I won't touch ground. Oh no, I got to keep on moving. And then go back to the verse. The middle part, same as the verse. That F 
becomes an F minor, guys. So be careful. So be so watch that. <clears throat> so like I said, it's basically you riff verse chorus verse chorus. Here's the bridge F minor. And for those of you brand new to that F minor chord, because this will come in handy for lots of Beatles songs when you go from major to minor. Just a heads up. Your fingering is one, zero, one, three. One, zero, one, three. One, zero, one, three. I'm trying to move that finger out the way. Doesn't matter how you, doesn't matter what fingers you use, just get to it. Beautiful. So it's F minor. I'm gonna like you, B flat major. Look me over to F minor. Never wanna gun like you, B flat. By the way, you're learning lots of new chords today. Good job. G minor. Good old G minor. For those of you who are guitarists who know how to finger D minor, you do the same thing here. So, fingering is zero, two, three, one. If I meet another girl like you, see, I would tell her, never want another girl like you, have to say, that's C, have to say to D oh. and then you're just basically playing the same chorus but you push it up one full step so instead of playing it in F like we did before we're playing it in key uh, we're playing it in G you just move it up one fret now if you're talented enough to figure it out <laughs> By just barring the hell out of it, good luck, but I'm playing it like this. Ain't nothing gonna break my stride. Nobody gonna Oh, E minor. E minor. Nobody's gonna slow me down. Oh no. I got to keep on moving. And that's it. That's all of break my stride. So, G. And that's how you do it, guys. And then, just go back to... And that's Break My Stride. The whole thing, from start to finish. And now you know how to play it. So, put it together. Now you can cobble it up together. You can stop, rewind review some parts look at some fingering and also look up chord fingerings if they don't make sense if you can't see them you know i will also link to a uh to my favorite chord dictionary for ukulele so when i tell you how to finger the chords and if i know if you can't really see them that well i'll give you a link to a chord dictionary that i use uh, that i recommend all right so with all due respect to the great Matthew Wilder, who also wrote I'll Make a Man Out of You from Mulan. Great song. Start your own bands. Thanks a lot.